Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architect and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna build a large family home called Lightwood House located in Willow Creek and actually the project is um, to rebuild one of the neighborhoods in Willow Creek. I totally turn it down and yeah, I'm just willing to recreate it totally in a really American suburban style and that's why I'm trying to start with this home. So it's not going to be a series, but from time to time there will be a house in this style that will come up on the channel and it will be located in this area, I believe. So this house um, is a large home, as I told you, with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a large dining room, living room, and kitchen. The exterior is pretty traditional but I really like it and I tried to put as many details as I could and I'm really happy with the way it turned out actually. I think it looks pretty realistic and I'm really happy with this. So um, yeah I think uh, it would be a really nice house to do a let's play but uh, as you know I'm not really into let's plays. But for example, about for a let's play about a family, it would be really nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with this house. Uh, the interior as well uh, is pretty cool, I believe. And I tried to use objects or colors that I don't usually use. I try to do this more and more just to make my builds look a bit different. Um, so I would like to say hello to all the new subscribers. And thank you for being here because we're almost 1,000. It is really crazy. I can barely believe it. I mean, it's really something special, like having almost 1,000 people following you, watching your videos, hearing you talking. Yeah, it's really something special. And I'm so grateful for this. I have so many ideas for the channel, you can't even imagine. So many builds that I want to do and yeah I can't wait to show you what I have in mind because there's much going on in my mind so yeah I can't, wor can't wait to show you all of this and I also want to say excuse me if my if my voice is sounding strange because I'm ill and yeah I can't talk properly my voice is really strange um, my nose is totally blocked so yeah my voice is not as good if I can say as usual so sorry for that um, today is the first day of September as I'm recording this voiceover and in four days I will be in Versailles as I told you in the last video I'm going back to Versailles because it is my favorite place on earth. Uh, as you probably know already, I'm really fond of architecture, especially from the 19th and 18th century. So Versailles is for me a real architectural heaven, if I can say. And I can't wait to be there. Uh, I try to go there uh, once a year. Um, and every time I go there, it's like... I discover it again and again there's always some details or things I didn't see the time before so yeah there's always something to discover about Versailles the history of the palace is so rich so dense that um, I think a life wouldn't be enough to know everything about this palace it is really a fantastical place and if you ever visit France be sure to go there because I think for a foreigner you can't feel what France is if you don't go to Versailles because it's really for me more than the Eiffel Tower it's really the symbol of France so yeah you know what you have to do if you visit France but um, as YouTube tells me most of you are from the US so I guess you don't have the occasion to go every year to Versailles but uh, I know that for many American people going to Europe doing a trip across Europe is a dream and yeah you should definitely go to France 
not only, but you should definitely make a stop in France, especially in Paris. Even if I'm not this kind of people that thinks that the whole uh, country can be... I don't know how to say that. I mean, just many people think that France is Paris, but no, France is much more than Paris. Paris is, of course, one of my favorite cities ever. It's wonderful. Um, even for a French guy that really knows Paris, that goes there often, it's, yeah, there's always something to discover and the atmosphere is really special. But yeah, France is not only Paris and I wish that tourists could visit more of just Paris because um, the way people live in Paris, the way they behave, the way they, they are, is not the same everywhere in France, so probably you could have a bad experience about Paris because I know that some people living there can be rude, they're always stressed out, it's not really representative of what French people are. And yeah, I think it would be too bad to only focus on Paris. So um, I would suggest you, if you visit France, to go on the west coast, northern west coast, because that's where I live and that's my favorite uh, part of France. I'm not really into southern France. It's a beautiful region, but one, I'm not really a big fan of hot weather and there it's pretty hot. And I don't know, the mentality is a bit different. It's not the same that in the northern part of the country. And yeah, I don't feel very well there. I much prefer northern France. I think that relationships between people are more authentic. Um, probably I'm wrong, probably just an idea I have, but this is my opinion about this. But of course there's beautiful thing to discover everywhere. It's not... I think everywhere in, on the earth there's a nice place to discover, even if in the worst country, if I can say, that you can imagine. There's always something nice to discover. And especially people, there's always nice people everywhere you go. So yeah, that was uh, my tips about <laughs> visiting friends. So please just don't go to Paris, but I know when you or when you have a budget and you have some limited time to visit a country, especially France, you want to focus on Paris because it's probably the most important and where you can see uh, many different things. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I wouldn't mind if you only go to Paris because I know that, that that's what people want to see. Um, back to the game. Um, so as you can see now, I'm furnishing the house and the um, interior is pretty warm, pretty simple actually. Quite realistic because it's not something too luxurious or too extravagant. It's really normal actually. And yeah, so uh, for the next build, I don't, I still don't know what I'm gonna build. I'm hesitating between a community lot, probably a cafe or something like this. Or a huge palace again, but I already built one, uh, it was the summer palace. And by the way, you can watch this video and there's a little challenge with this because um, I'm asking you in this video to furnish this palace. So if you're interested, you can go to this video and um, try to furnish this palace. I would be really curious about the way you could furnish this. So yeah. Um, and yeah, so for the next build, I'm also hesitating about waiting a little bit because we'll soon be 1000. I would like to do a special video for the 1000 subscribers. And I already have an idea about this. It would probably be a collaboration with someone really special. But uh, I already told this person about this and I think it could happen. But I don't want to promise anything, so we'll see. Um, I think that's pretty much shit for me now and I'm really sorry again for my voice because I know it's not really enjoyable, but hope you could understand me. 
and so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye